Hello, this is Stacy. I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to create categories in your gradebook. And thank you to Ann Earhart for giving me your username and password so I can show the gradebook. So I'm logging in to Aspen here, and you'll notice across the top I have a toolbar. And since we're talking about our gradebook today, you are going to click on gradebook. You're probably used to coming to attendance every day but for this uh, workshop we're using gradebook so I clicked there and then once I click on my gradebook it comes up with my class list and you'll notice I have a left hand navigation navigation bar and in order to add a category I'm going to click on categories. Okay, and I um, I did this earlier today with uh, with homework, but I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this one so you can watch how I delete it. I check the box and then I hit delete, and there it's going to disappear in just a second. And there it goes. And so now I want to add a new category. So again, I'm going to go to options, and this time I'm going to add, and it shows up with a screen like this. And the code is just like a short name. So I did HW for homework. Now this is not a mandatory category. This is just for the video's purpose. And then my description is homework. Um, I could do, I would want to keep this category pretty general. I wouldn't want to get specific with weeks or anything like that. That'll come down more when we're talking about assignments. The weighting, I would just go ahead and leave that at one. And we'll talk more about weighting later. And then uh, grade scale, you have a couple of choices. Elementary E, S, and N. Or the elementary school scale, which is the A, B, C, D, U. And since this is fourth grade, that's the scale that they use. And once I click that, it pops up here. And then I'm going to leave the entry mode at both. You'll notice the choices are numeric or letter. But then that way, one day if you feel like... Uh, entering in letter grades then you've got that and then one day you might do numeric and that way you're just kind of covering all your bases then your uh, total points if you're using the hundred point scale just type in a hundred there um, and then you got some other options if you want to add some extra credit points or say that this is like a mandatory assignment and the score can't be a uh, mandatory category and the score cannot be dropped um, you can click that and then this last menu is very important. Let's say that you've created a category but you don't have any assignments in it yet. You're going to want to keep that private because otherwise when parents log in they're going to see that category and notice that there are no assignments in that yet. So um, we can reset it to, to um, public later but for right now let's go ahead and keep it private. And then that way if you make a mistake or something on it um, you can go back and edit it and nobody will know the difference. And then um, after you do that, you'll notice there's a save button at the top and the bottom. That's pretty consistent throughout the site and it doesn't matter which one you use. And then after I do that, this box shows up, but it goes away automatically so there's no need to click OK. And then I'm going to click on my categories to see if I was successful and I was. There it is. So uh, thanks for watching this and hope it helps.